Hi, I'm Nishti Max, and I'm here to share this dramatic Maleficent-inspired eye makeup that I created to go see the new Maleficent movie. I included the black, purple, and green colors that feature in the original character's look, as well as a horned motif on the outer corners. To go along with these eyes, I slapped on these juicy red lips to contrast with the colors. If you want to check out how I created the lips, click the screen or check the description box. And check my blog for all the product details. I first primed my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and blended it up to my brows and out towards my temples with my fingers. Then I grabbed Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil in Perversion and used the black eyeliner to draw horn shape starting from about where my brow ends and taking it towards the outer corner of my eye. I joined it to my lower lash line and then brought it in a curved fashion to my upper lid as if I was creating a cat eye winged liner and then I filled in the space. To create a smooth transition, I blended the pencil with a cotton bud along my lash line and into my outer crease. I added more product and blended the pencil with my finger. I tried to make both horn shapes as even as possible, but it's kinda hard with the eccentricities of my face, and I did the best I could. I used Milani Liquid Eye Pencil in Perfect Purple for a purple base on the center part of my lid. I applied it overlapping the black pencil and smudged the inner side with my fingers. I decided to create a curved line along my crease, with a kind of cut crease effect. I used the Perversion Pencil to accentuate the darkness along the lash line again and blended it with the purple. Then I reached for my trusty Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and applied it to the rest of my eyelid, including the tear duct area. I tapped the white base with my finger to smooth it and blend it into the purple as well. Then here comes El Tanko, my Inglot palette, and I'm using a Sigma F70 Concealer Brush to apply Inglot Pearl Eyeshadow in number 441 to the inner portion over the purple base and slightly onto the white. Then I went for the darker Inglot Pearl Eyeshadow in number 439 and used the other side of the same flat brush to apply it to the outer corner of my lid. I flipped the brush and picked up more of the lighter color and buffed over the area where they meet. Now I present the gorgeous MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow in Young Punk. To get the most out of this shadow, I sprayed some MAC Fix Plus onto the same Sigma Concealer brush, then rubbed my brush into the dark and glittery section and applied it to the outer corner of my lid, blending it over the darker purple. I brought some of the Young Punk shadow into the horn shape. For extra darkness, I pulled out Sugar Pill Bulletproof and I used a MAC 266 angled brush to set the black pencil and fill in the horn shape. I also took that shadow into my crease above the curved purple lid shape. I used this Sigma E30 pencil brush to start blending the black shape above the crease, which I'll come back to later. I took in a pixie epoxy and applied some to the back of my hand, then dabbed the pigment adhesive onto my inner lid and tear duct area with a Japanese lip brush. Then I used Sugar Pilled Paper Doll and I used a Japanese lip brush for precision to apply it to the white inner corner section up into the inner crease and also blending it with the purple on the lid. For some fun, I found this pigment sample and I don't know where I got it from. If I ever find out, I'll link it below. But it has a pink and gold reflex and I applied it over the sugar pill paper doll, mainly on the tear duct area, and decided to add some also up towards the inner crease for a bright pop there. And then use some makeup remover to get rid of the pink sparkles that floated up to my brow bone. Now back to the crease with sugar pill bulletproof and the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I grabbed some matte black on the tip of the brush and darkened up the cut crease I've got going on here, making sure I'm blending up to keep the line soft on the upper edge. Now for some more Firene Pixie Epoxy, I used the Japanese lip brush to apply the adhesive and then went back to the flat concealer brush to intensify the MAC Young Punk shadow. I wanted more darkness in the crease, so I added more bulletproof on the pencil brush, deepened my crease, then to redefine the cut crease, I ran some bulletproof along there with the angled brush too. For the brow bone, I used Inglot Rainbow Shadow number 113R and applied it with the Sigma E30 Medium Angled Shading Brush. I blended some more black over the crease now that the neutral shadow was there to make the blending easier. This soft pencil brush also helped with that. Then back to NYX Milk Pencil and I applied that covering the center of my lower lash line and blending that out with a cotton bud. Then I got more Pixie Epoxy but this time dabbed it onto the end of a cotton bud and applied it over the milk pencil base getting it ready for this sugar pill loose shadow called Tipsy. I used a Japanese smudge brush and applied the delicious medium green shimmery pigment that I had to add to represent the original Maleficent's complexion. Then I smeared some more Pixie Epoxy with a cotton bud onto the outer corner of my lower lash line and used the tip of the concealer brush to apply Young Punk on top, blending it into the green shadow. I used a bit of the Violet Pigment Paper Doll to blend towards Tipsy on the inner side and to complete the lower lash line I used Sugar Pill Lumi, another duochrome pigment, to merge the pink tear duct with the green lash line using the same small lip brush from Japanese. Now for the inner rims, I used Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in number 77 with an EO5 eyeliner brush from Sigma. 
I used the Brow Bone Brush with Remnant Shadow on it to blend the lower edge of the lash line. I used Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Liner in Perversion to apply a thin line along my lashes to help disguise the false lashes I will be using. For mascara, I used L'Oreal Telescopic Lashes in Extra Black and went to town on my lower lashes. I really find that mascara finishes off a lower lash line and grounds the makeup. I curled my eyelashes with my Shu Uemura Lash Curlers, then for some sassy fun, I got out one of the lashes I got from Girls With Attitude and had no choice but to use the pair called Raven, then curved the band and cut them in half to make them easier to apply. So I used the glue that came in the packet and I let the glue dry for 30 seconds or so and placed the lash on the outer half of my lash line. I used my fingers to manipulate them and I squeezed my natural lashes with my false lashes. I used basically the same technique with the inner half of the lashes. I also used the tweezers to squeeze my lashes together and make the effect more natural or at least more seamless. And to blend my natural lashes with the fake ones, I used L'Oreal Telescopic Lashes in Extra Black and combed them together. Then I applied a line of Urban Decay Liquid Liner in Perversion to disguise the lash band and cover any shine from the glue. And I used the Physician's Formula Felt Tipped Liquid Liner to draw a line following the lash band towards my inner corner so the line where the lashes start is less obvious. And you should get something like this. For eyebrows, I used Revlon Colorstay Brow Liner in Blonde and Benefit Gimme Brow to set the hairs. I went for an icy white highlight with this Inglot ANC Pressed Powder in number 59 and I used a MAC 116 brush to apply it to my cheekbones. For blush, I used Benefit Throb and my Napoleon Pura D 20B Reflective Contour Brush. I took the Sleek Candy Collection Sweet Cheeks Palette and using the same brush I chose the center shade called Dolly Mix and I applied it under my cheekbones, taking it up to my temples as well. I enjoy the eerie look of purple cheeks, but then again it's all personal preference and style. I tapped a bit of that pinkish pigment sample onto my cheeks for a bit of a twist and blended that in. I had quite a huge problem this night with my eyes watering like crazy, so I had to fix up some of the eyeshadow. I did a bit of visualization to decide on my lip color, and to see the lip art tutorial, click the screen or check the description box. And so that's what I wore out to the movies. I really love how this came out, and the pop of green makes it really interesting when you have your eyes open. For this tutorial, I didn't want to do a standard winged liner, so I was really happy I kind of pulled off the horned wing shape at the outer edge. I really loved it when I saw it on Nomadic Beauty's tutorial. I totally dig how these raven lashes look. They're just so fluttery and look perfect for this inspiration. For all the products and more pictures, check my blog. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this full-on dramatic old school Maleficent inspired makeup. And subscribe for more tutorials. Click the little boxes if you want to see all the tutorials. You can check out my social media Walla Bazoos linked in the description box. I'm Mishdy Max everywhere and I'll see you there.